Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube. I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Today I'm kind of doing a um, teaching video for beginners, but I'm also uh, going back to where I started as a beginner in the particular recipe that I used to use and the way I used to do things. So it's more so probably for people that can't get the clear glue uh, like in the US uh, you seem to have a problem getting the clear glue that I use um, here so when I first started I used to um, send to America for this glue all um, in the uh, one gallon the four litre uh, bottles it used to cost me about 60 to 70 dollars for that I just found these particular glue all on special in our local um, office works so I thought I'll go back and use the clear glue because I know that the folk in America the US and probably even the UK can get this clear glue a lot easier so I'm going to see if I produce the same effects with the clear glue as I used to do when I very first started this is what I used to use was clear glue and a bit of Australian flow troll so I'm going to use the same recipe today um, with Montmartre paints because that's what I started with and I'm going to show you how I mixed it so it's kind of a beginner's video but it's also for people that um, yeah might want to try this particular recipe and I'm interested to see if it comes out exactly how it come out for me almost two years ago when I started doing it so what I've done is I've emptied this one liter one liter of glue all into this big jug so it's just in there now what my recipe was was adding 70 30 so i'm gonna add another 300 mils <coughs> excuse me of uh, just warm water to this i've put warm water in this particular bottle i've just put warm water so i can get the rest of my glue out and not waste any and then i'll add 300 mils to this glue so that should make it 1300 mils all up so probably best to add it slowly and it seems to work better if it's a mix, warm water mixed into your glue because I suppose it, it sort of makes it bind quicker. So uh, I'm going to put another, I'm going to make it up to 1300. So that's 7030. Yeah, I'm making it in this uh, big container so I'll transfer it. Well, I'll make up the paints and then I'll transfer it back to this. So that's another 300 mil. So, and then you just give it a really good stir. Or if you've got a large bottle, uh, that like when I had the four liters, I just used to take 30 mil, uh, 300. 30% out and then um, add the warm water to the bottle and then give it a good shake. So. So this is making up 1,300, 1,300 mils of uh, pouring medium. And this is what I always used to use. So we'll go back to basics and I'll explain what I do all along. So you give it a really good stir. So just put that aside and we'll move on to the next stage, which is I'm just showing you what I do with my canvas. The canvas back, I use painter's tape, which you can get from any hardware store. Just ask for painter's tape. And I put that on the back. So that's easy peasy, Japanesey, lemon squeezy. And these are giant push pins. I have them, the link down below for all of these products. So have a look in my drop down box underneath the video. They're called giant push pins and you can get them if you don't get them online, you can get them from office, work suppliers, stationeries, but ask for giant push pin. So that is what I hammer those in. I hammer those in and then when it comes to get them out, I wiggle them backwards and forwards and turn them around and they pull out easy enough. 
So then your canvas is ready to use and then you've got a nice stable base and it's up off your surface that you're going to pour on. So that is that particular part of this process. That's the, uh, just the plastic off the canvas. The next bit is the paints. So I've put, I haven't measured because I don't normally measure at all. So what I've done is I've got my paints in the bottom of the cup. I don't measure, so it's pointless telling you I do. So that is about a good centimetre, one centimetre, one half centimetres of paint in the bottom of that. And so all of these paints are Montmartre paints I'm using today. And I just get my pouring medium and I add just about equal amount to start with. So it's like 50% paint, 50% pouring medium, equal amounts to start with. And then I see um, the consistency of what the paint feels like after I stir it up. That's about another 50%. That one, oh, I think I've poured too much into that. Uh, but anyway, I can always add a bit more paint. So I'm pouring 50-50 to start with in each of the cups. So whatever your paint is in your cup, 50-50 to start with. And then if you need any more, you can add more pouring medium or a bit of water, either way. So it's about 50%. This stand, I just, me and my husband make these for ourselves out of just polystyrene packing that comes and he just used the whole saw and put me different cup sizes and then underneath I've got some of the giant push pins that holds that up off the ground. So I'm just mix, you mix your paints really well. So you give it a real good mix. So that is 50-50, that is still too, too thick. So I'll just add a little bit more pouring medium, just go a little bit more and, and try it's kind of got to be a nice creamy consistency. Um, if you were doing something like a Dutch pour, which you're blowing the paint, they, they all use very runny paint. So the, if the pour I'm doing today is like I used to do is a swipe and I, I need it sort of nice creamy consistency. I know it's like runny honey or, or pouring cream. So that's just just nice, okay. I won't go through the boring bits of stirring all of these paints with you. I just wanna to go to the next stage and then I'll come back to you. So what I do there, I've got my consistency stirred really, really well, scrape it up from the bottom, is going back to when I used to use silicon. As I said, I'm going back in time. So this is the silicon. I've tried all the silicones under the sun and this one has worked out the best. So all you need is just one to two drops, no more because it just comes out, you know, big lumpy cells. One drop of this, so one, ooh, that's enough. <laughs> that's cool. That was kind of two. And then you just stir, stir that in really, really well, really well and then it's a, just a nice consistency. So I'm gonna go through all of these cups and do that same process. I'll miss out the boring bits and I'll be back with you. In okay, they're all mixed with the pouring medium. I've added uh, two two drops of the Helmar silicon that I showed you. It worked two drops to every cup. Um, I have added to all the other cups. This is, this is Floetrol. I just decant it into a smaller container. So the Floetrol, I just literally add a good dash like that. No more really. Um, probably don't need it with the glue all. I'm not sure. So I'm going to see. So that, all of them have just had a dash of Floetrol. So say a dessert spoon of Floetrol in. And I've mixed them all up really well. What I used to do back when I started, I used to mix all my paints the day before 
um, and leave them overnight just covered with a damp cloth because I found that I got much better cells. I'm, I'm not sure if what, what the science was behind it, but that's what I used to do. So there's my colours all made up. And we'll see if I can get the results that I used to get back in the day. Um, on this, this canvas is a 60 by 30. It's a really nice canvas size to work with. So um, we will see what we get. Okay, so I've been through that process with you. So I hope that helps some of you. I am going to be using kind of mostly greens. They're not my favourite colour, but... I'll go for it. So this one is um, Monsterial or Mon... Uh, no, this one actually is Viridian Green. I'm off with the birds, I tell you. So I'm going to do my wiggles thing again where I just wiggle the paint over the canvas. It's nothing um, special or anything. It's uh, easy enough to do for a beginner. So if you're a beginner, this is a really good way to start I believe so that was the monsterial uh, no viridian viridian this is the monsteria monsteria green so just giving it a real good stir and just wiggle 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 over your canvas That's the monsterial. Now this is called sap green. So it's like that real dark green. And it's like 50 shades of green, isn't it? Almost, almost, almost. So I'm not sure whether I want to add red or orange. I know you probably think I'm absolutely crazy. But I think I'm going to add some red. This is brilliant red. They're all mixed in the same way and they've all got the same ingredients approximately. So there we go. It will be interesting to see if I get the same results of what I used to get when I started, because I'm actually going to use my um, whoop, um, butane torch because that's what I started with. And, and nowadays I basically use um, my heat gun. This is just plain old white. So I want to put some white in there to break it all up. And what I want to do quickly is mix uh, a navy to actually swipe with. So... Or maybe I should go make a, um, out of that bit of red I've got, I could make, I could make my very delicious. So to the red, I can add some uh, gravel to it. The red, I can add some phalo blue. If you add red and phalo blue, it, it'll... I'll show you what it will make. So red phalo blue in there and a dash of black. So I'll just put a dash, a dash of black because I want it nice and dark. This makes my very delicious color, which is a really dark or can be dark cherry red or really, um, I love this color. So that's what I'm mixing to make my berry delicious. I will need a little bit more pouring medium in there because I've just added paints to it. So I'll just add a bit more of my pouring medium. Oop. I'm going to just use exactly the same mix for my swipe colour as I did the paint. So there's the pouring medium. I'm going to add a squirt of Floetrol, literally a good squirt of Floetrol. Mix it up. So that's really like a dark cherry aubergine and it, it just is a beautiful colour in your work. 
So this is what will change this particular piece doing the swipe in it. So I'm gonna add two drops. Yeah, one, two, two-ish. Give it a really good stir. There we go. Um, that one's a little bit runnier than the rest, but that's okay to do my swiping. Move those out of the way. Oh dear, you're gonna want people jumping in, son. Shh, 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 shh. I think somebody's arrived. That's my dog. So this looks very Christmassy, doesn't it? But I'm absolutely certain that that particular swipe colour is going to change the whole look of it. Well, may do. It will do. So all I'm doing now is just a gentle tilt. Don't rush this. If, if you're just trying this particular technique or you're trying this and it's your first time, just don't rush. Don't try and tilt it all off really quick. This is just tilting it so it, it sort of tilts over the other colour. It tilts over the edge of your canvas. And I'm just working down to the other end. Tilting over nice and slow. I actually forgot how strong the smell of glue oil. Some of it seems quite strong. I'm pretty sure the stuff that I used to order from America never used to have that strong odor because that one I just found in our local um, store because they don't sell the big con four litre containers of glue oil here. So that's what we're left with. Just recenter it so your paint isn't all at one end. You can sort of just go around with your fingers on the bottom and on your very corners, all nice and slow. Remember, your art room, your rules, your way. Just take it easy. It's uh, just a, a nice therapeutic process to go through, I believe, and um, it's all good. So, oh my goodness, now I'm nervous to see what results I get. I can't remember if I used to hit it with the butane torch at this stage, but look at the cells already popping up. So I won't. Hoping... Oh, Ben, Ben. I've got some butane, hoping I've got the gas in that particular butane. And then I'll grab a um, piece of plastic file divider. This is just a soft plastic file divider. They can be found at stationary or office workplaces. Um, it's just a really good tool to swipe with because you can wash it and wash it over and over. Just keep using it. Using and abusing. Okie doke. So this is my very dark, very delicious. Did you want to talk to me, John? So I'm just pouring this through the center because I'm going to do a center swipe. Oh, there you go, sort of centerish, centerish, and then you use that soft plastic file divider. So I will start at one end, I suppose, and you just try and drop the very tip of your file divider into the paint, pull it through. Oh my goodness, look at those gorgeous gems! coming up already this is what oh yeah this is what i remember that's working well so just wipe off your file divider because you don't want to cause any muddiness in your paints again just drop the very tip of your file divider and just draw it really nice and slow that doesn't matter i've missed that bit but i'll go back over that and um, well, in fact i'll get I had a slim piece sitting here somewhere, now it's gone. Um, I've got a, I'll cut up smaller pieces for smaller jobs, so I'll just go over that one. And I will re-go over that there. And then I'll turn the whole painting around. As you can see, I've got all these lovely, like, gem-like cells coming up um uh, rightio might just add a little bit of the swipe color 
where I think I need to. So see how we go on the second side. So just nice and slow. Oh, look at oh. I think my file divider must be bent because it's missing out these bits. <laughs> I've got a bent file divider. Never mind. Go on with it. Yeah. Missed out in the same bit. Never mind. I'll use the other one. I'll just go back over here. And here. And there. Oop. I'm not going to worry about that. That's perfectly fine. Rightio. The next thing is my butane torch. As I said, I don't normally, I don't use these anymore very often. I use a heat wand, which I find far safer. The butane, you definitely have to have fire extinguisher and be used to using them because you, you know, can cause some trouble if you don't. You're not confident with it. So I'm turning my butane torch on. Um, and I'm just going to dab it, dab it. So this is causing what we used to call in the day the jilly clusters. As you can see, these little clusters of cells just popping up exactly as they used to. So there you go, it's that particular recipe that causes these jilly clusters. And I am, well, I'm not gonna do the whole thing because I don't want it to sell up everywhere, but this is fabulous. It's back to the days when I used to do my jilly clusters. I will bring the camera down and give you a squizzy but they are looking so gorgeous. Yeah, it's really back to the day. So here are the jilly clusters, jilly gems. They're clusters of absolutely dynamic cells. Look at that. Um, now I'm excited to do these colors, uh, do some different colors in these, but look at those. The cells created with this particular pouring me mix is stunning, I have to say. It is really stunning. Look, look at the red in there. Oh. Absolutely gorgeous. And this is was my exact recipe when I first started doing videos way back in the day. Like I've stopped using the glue all as uh, definitely because it was costing me so much to get from the US um, because they didn't they only sell it in tiny bottles here you know that but that's the biggest bottle I've seen is that one liter here in Australia um, and of course when you know the virus hit it was too it's too difficult getting stuff that heavy. Uh, by mail it cost me a fortune now so but anyway that's what it produces so if you're in the US and you can get it from your Hobby Lobby or wherever you get it from so easy and you really want cells then that is the recipe to follow and that Halmar silicon lasts for absolutely donkey's years because you only put one or two drops in to get this effect and only a dash of Floetrol so very happy with that so i hope you liked if you're one of my uh viewers that have been with me for since the beginning you will remember these kind of pours very well because i used to love doing them and i still do look at this i love it so i'm anxious now to get mixing up some different colors so wishing you guys um a safe and happy week and uh, please keep well do something that gives you joy go out for a walk do some gardening and do some acrylic pouring it's good for the soul so until tomorrow you lovely people i'll say bye for now